So earlier today, Canva released some of their new updates called their Visual Suite 2.0. And one of the things that they created was what's called Canva code. So to get Canva code, we'll just go to Canva.ai. And you'll notice that now what you want to create, you can choose this option that says code for me. So what you can do is describe like a particular app and Canva is going to automatically create that for us. At least that's the pitch that Canva made today. So let's go ahead and try it. All right, I'm going to say create a calculator with pink, purple, and blue colors. I want to create code for me. And now I am going to click submit. And ideally, in just a few minutes, I should see this program. You can see that Canva is automatically generating the code. So I'm going to take a pause and I'll let you know how this looks when it comes back. Okay, so that didn't take long, it probably took about 30 seconds or so. You can see what this says, it's created a calculator for me with those colors. Go ahead and try to select it, let's see, 12 minus 6 equals that. Okay, so that will automatically work. Now from here, I can take this calculator and I can select use in a design. And it's going to automatically take that uh, that program. It's going to put that inside a design. I think I could even like move this over to the side. Maybe use the uh, background color to kind of change this background to this grayish color if I wanted to. And now I have a working calculator on my slide. There we go. You just have to click on it to actually enable it. So something that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and let's try to generate something else. So you can see at the bottom some of the different suggestions on here, which are kind of cool. So now I'm going to say create a new version of the game Pac-Man. So a pretty standard thing to ask a coding platform to do, just kind of a simplified version of Pac-Man. So again, I'm going to let Canva write this code for me. I'll come back when it's done and we'll explore. Okay, so it looks like this is finished. Now that took probably a couple minutes. It took a, a, a significantly longer time than the original calculator game did. So now let's go ahead and start game. This says Dot Muncher. All right, there's our Pac-Man, but it doesn't look like he's able to move. Let me see if I click on that, nothing happens. So our Dot Muncher is just kind of stuck there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go over and say, the Pac-Man isn't moving. Make him move with the arrow keys. Okay, so now back to the drawing board. It looks like Canva code is going to add some more code. Hopefully this fixes our problem. All right, so it looks like it added over 800 lines of code. Again, it took a few minutes. Now let's see. And we're still not able to move. So as you can see, certain things are not going to work as well as advertised. Don't try to create a Pac-Man game in your design. It's probably not going to work. So let me pick something that looks like it should be able to work. Let me go ahead and do this one. All right, so from here, it's just a memory game. I just chose it from the examples at the bottom. Let me go ahead and try to create this memory game something like this is probably an activity that you might want to try in your presentation considering that it's one of the examples i'm sure that this will work much better okay so here we go so now this is the game let me go ahead and click this and there's our matching game that's on here so something that's kind of fun again this is going to be something that you may use in a presentation so stuff like this I think works pretty good so overall my first impressions of Canva code it seems like it works pretty well for these little kind of widgets that you can put in a presentation or in a design but if you want something more advanced like a game like Pac-Man chances are it's going to struggle creating that